This is training video of how to make a sloping ceiling in a wood job in the bedroom. And let's begin now. First of all, double click the icon to go to 2D interface. Then to draw a room. Then change the single door. Confirm its opening direction inside. And a ceiling. Set its elevation as 2400 millimeters. After that, click the icon to go into 3D. Here, state the default template and click OK. And if you don't need the ceiling lights, just delete them. In 3D, you can move the cursor to get a better view. Then just say this view, name the 0, 1. Then we are going to make a sloping ceiling first. Go to the order and pick up the 1D wall. Next, to make a sloping ceiling window on the ceiling. Just set its parameters in this dialog box. Then to make one more. Next, to go to the functions of May Wardrobe Carcass. Reset its dimensions. Left click the panel here and choose Cap Unit Divided. And these operations here means to divide the wardrobe into several parts. Do this function again. Next, to divide the left panel into two equal parts. Then, to copy shape ball on the left panel and place the it to the others. And those flowing operation next also aims to divide the wardrobe by specific value. So please pay attention to these steps and complete them.
and here is going to make the back panel for the whole wardrobe. Here to choose yes to write it in catalog and to give a name of 002, then check it out, locate it against the wall. And next, we are going to install the fittings for the wardrobe. And to choose the drawer first, then click the panel up, left, right in turn according to the hints. Then to make another one under the last one. Then to install two closed hangers in the middles of the wardrobe. Then to put a rack over the slated share ball. And next is going to put some decorations on the shelves, like box, clothes, pillow, and so on. and you can move the cursor to get a better view to lay them out. To check out the prepared decorations one by one from the save group. And here we just show to lay out three objects and the rest will come out quickly just because of the video editing. And you can put all the decorations into the file, save group in advance, then draw them out here. And next, we are going to create a sliding door. Click the panel left, right, up, down in turn according to the hints. And reset its dimensions in this dialog box. Then After that, we need to go to a black car sliding door. To clear the 1T sliding door, then clear the sloping roof. And you can see the sliding door had been cut. Then to open the door to check it out. And after that, a black car, the cabinet is also needy. Clear the cabinet and the sloping roof in turn. And finish means it's done. And next, we need to go to top view to lay out furniture. To go to safe group, bedroom. Pick up a set of bed, 
located in the middles of the room, then adjacent table, put it against on the wall. Then go to last view and the views of zero one. Then to change the floor texture by checking out a map. Then to go to camera edit to input a specific value to go to a proper view. When come to this step, we are going to edit the material by material editor and the material of the sloping ceiling windows and the sliding door are supposed to be changed. Next, to create some new lights, to locate the lights by left clicking, then right click to confirm, and we need to edit the light source on the ceiling. Change three of them into IES. Then to turn on the lights. You can see the lights is changing in the room. To clear the stop when you think the lights OK. Then to save a picture in this view. And after rendering, we can output a quotation list about all the products in the room. And this function is often used when clients want to see all products price. We can also export it as an Excel form. Then to turn on the lights to check out the output drawing. As you can see, there are three drawings here. This is a direction elevation drawing.
and this is base unit plan drawing. And door drawing. And this is the end of this training video. Thanks for watching.